The transformation of Capitol Mall is hitting a major roadblock. The celebrated plan to reimagine three giant state office buildings into affordable housing is now in limbo. In tonight's politics at large, the question is why? A plan to reimagine these sterile state office space corridors into lively downtown housing is suddenly hitting a snag. The private developer just announced they aren't sure it's financially feasible and pulled out. I wasn't surprised at all that it didn't pan out. Um, I'm disappointed. John Vignocchi is a downtown developer who says repurposing office space into housing is a major challenge. He says new housing is best built from the ground up. You can't turn easily a lot of times office space into you know, units like bedrooms need access to windows for light and air. We know that we have a housing uh, supply uh, crisis. Last year, we were there as Assemblymember Kevin McCarty, now running for mayor, and current Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg announced the monumental shift for the Capitol Mall, an attempt to turn the EDD headquarters, the EDD solar building, and the state personnel board building into affordable housing units converting the existing structures into apartments. A thousand or more units potentially between the three buildings. The move would take downtown Sacramento back to a bygone era. If we were to take a step back in time, go back to 1945, 1950, what do we see here? Uh, you would have seen a neighborhood. You would have seen homes and small businesses. Chris Lango is a Sacramento historian. Lango showed photos of what used to be in the same place as the EDD building, housing. Ninth and Capitol apartment building called the Wallace. The Wallace was demolished to build what later became known as the Capitol Mall Project, replacing the West End and the city's workforce with state buildings that redeveloped the gateway of Sacramento. Hopefully they can right the ship, quickly understand that they just need to scrape these buildings off the face of the earth and build something uh, that is the highest and best use for that land. Now, as Sacramento seeks to reimagine its downtown again, reusing these state buildings is proving to be real challenging. Now, a state spokesperson says that private developer McCormick Baron Salazar did not break any contract when they bowed out. We are working to determine what the state will do next.